All right. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? My name is uh, Morgan Heitzma, Director of Agent Services for the Experience Brokerage Network. And today we're going to be uh, talking all about DocuSign right down below. So uh, for those of you who uh, are still not quite into DocuSign just yet, or for some of you who um, who may be struggling along the way or, or looking for quick little tips on, on how to maximize your, your DocuSign, uh, this class is for you. So without further ado, again, my name is Morgan Heitzma, Director of Agent Services. We have these tech talks at two o'clock uh, every Tuesday on our Facebook Live page. Uh, we talk about the uh, the latest technology uh, in every single aspect inside of KW uh, Command. So again, if you're looking for a particular topic, uh, just keep in mind, uh, keep coming back here every Tuesday at 2 p.m. and, uh, and your favorite topic uh, should be discussed. Um, again, tomorrow, not tomorrow, but uh, next Tuesday, we're going to have a special Halloween uh, themed uh, a class there for you. And we're going to be talking about the three simple steps. So for those of you looking to uh, to know what's coming down the pipeline, next Tuesday is going to be uh, Tech Talks at uh, 2 o'clock. And uh, for those of you who, if you didn't see my, my light flashback here, uh, if you give this live stream a like or a share, uh, or a reaction, uh, what it will do is it'll actually flash back here behind me. Um, and let's go into our, our classroom here. It's going to look a little different than your standard um, Brady Bunch kind of a Zoom conference. So uh, again, your eyes may go a little crazy if you weren't in here last, uh, last training, uh, but uh, fear not. I'm going to have you jump in. I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on what, uh, what that layout looks like, and, uh, and then we'll move on from there. Um, again, you have the full instructor view right here as well as the uh, the full screen uh, But we do have one extra class here. It's a more interactive uh, screen uh, for you guys to kind of hang out enjoy uh, have uh, Conversations back and forth between me or, or other uh, viewers and that's gonna be our classroom right here So we'll go ahead and we'll click on our classroom now uh, on our classroom You'll see that uh, that we have um, our live screen we have uh, the instructor view as well and then right down here below if you uh, give us a like thank you John Robert really appreciate it um, your name will actually come across the screen here and this is a live recording so uh, so keep in mind that uh, that your name is going to be branded on this uh, on this recording here uh, right down below uh, the uh, right down below the uh, the like and share you'll see that we have a uh, Facebook comments and on Facebook comments, we have uh, we can interact as well as uh, change the coloring of my background here. So as you see, it's been flashing uh, different colors uh, from John Roberts uh, like right here. Uh, you can only do this on our Facebook Live page, unfortunately. So if you're looking, uh, if you're viewing this stream through uh, a different uh, private mastermind group or or different page in general, uh, you may need to travel over to our Agent Services Division uh, page in order to fully get that uh, that reaction. Um, and then again, for those of you who don't have Facebook, if you're viewing on our kwtechhelp.com, your comments will pop up as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's jump right into uh, our our class here. And this is going to be again all about uh, all about DocuSign, right? So there's going to be a few things to uh, to mention uh, when you're going through DocuSign, uh, and even in command in general. And and let's start off with the Google Chrome browser, right? So uh, command's going to work the best on your Google Chrome browser if you're using a browser uh, like Edge or or Internet Explorer. You may come into uh, certain situations where you click on a page and uh, it doesn't load correctly or it gives you that forever spinning wheel. Um, and, and the best way to negate that, the first and foremost, is, is check your browser. 80% uh, of the time, we're either using a different browser uh, than, than the command system likes. Um, so that's just going to be, and, and again, it's going to be the quickest fix to, to have as well. So as you see right here, I'm on the uh, Google Chrome browser. Uh, the way that we navigate to command is going to be agent.kw.com. So we'll go agent.kw.com. And it should take you to the sign in screen right here. Now, um, again, notice I did not put any www's in right here. If I do, it'll take me to a page where it says that uh, my connection's not pri uh, it's not a private connection and, and it just doesn't like that or it tries to direct us to a generic uh, KW landing page. 
And so again, chances are you're just typing in www up here or that browser is auto populating that for you. So again, keep in mind uh, if you're looking uh, uh, to navigate to command, it's going to be agents.kw.com right here. And this is also going to take your KW username and password. Uh, this is going to be the same login you, you use for your uh, MyKW as well as your Kelly app um, and a couple of other, your KW Connect and some, some other uh, KW websites as well. So um, again, it's generally the first letter of your first name followed by your last name. If it's a pretty common combination, there, there may be a number associated at the end. And uh, we, we generally like to have these first two letters capitalized. Now, some agents have different, their full names out right here. That's perfectly fine. Whatever your KW username is, uh, that's what we're gonna be putting in right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll sign in. So we give this a sign in right here. It's gonna take us to our home page. And uh, in our home page of, of command, there's going to be a couple different uh, places that we're going to want to navigate here today. There's actually going to be two in particular. Uh, one's going to be your settings page, and the other one is going to be your opportunities page. So these are going to be the two places that we're going to be primarily focusing on uh, today. So um, again, let's go ahead and let's go to our name in the upper right hand corner. We'll go ahead and give this a click right here, and we're going to find where it says settings. We'll give that a click. And when we load up right here, uh, inside of your settings page, um, your right hand side right here, it's divided into kind of two different sections. Uh, your right hand side is going to be uh, all the different applications that you're already currently using that you can connect to, to interact with your command platform. So, uh, for example, if you're using Facebook, you can go ahead and link that here. Uh, if you're using Twitter, you can link that here. And again, these are these are optional uh, for you. Like, for example, I don't use Twitter, so you'll see that I don't have a Twitter connected. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I do use Facebook, however, uh, so we do have that all connected. Um, what we want to uh, focus on here is we're going to make our way to um, to our DocuSign button right here. This is the only button that's a little bit different than than the rest of them. Um, and what I mean by that is, um, for example, you'll have to have a Facebook account already created in order to link that up with your Facebook. Now, the DocuSign button right here is actually how you initiate your free DocuSign account. So this is how you get it started, guys. So right here, what we do is I'm going to I'm going to disconnect my account really quick. And where you can find this DocuSign uh, button is all these different uh, things are, are separated by, um, let's just say, like kind of like actions or, or categories. Uh, you'll see our connected apps right here. So these are all the things that I have currently linked up with my command platform. If we scroll down right here. Right next to, uh, right underneath Gmail, you'll have uh, digital signatures and transactions. And this is where your DocuSign section is going to be housed right here. As you see, you have DocuSign and Dot Loop right here. So what we're going to do is it's a couple step process. So first we're going to, uh, we're basically going to say, I want a free DocuSign account. And we'll do that by clicking this connect account button right here. And it'll say, please input your email that you'd like to use for your DocuSign as well as your first and last name. So I'll have my first and last name right here and then my preferred email. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to send a verification email to the account that you've added right here. It's going to send a verification email uh, to take you to a place to, to create a password. As you see right here, we only have the first, last name, and email. That's not quite all we need to create that, uh, that DocuSign account. So, um, so again, keep that in mind. A second part to that is if you're already currently paying, if you're currently paying for a DocuSign account, chances are you may run into some issues if you try to use that same email that's linked to that paid version. Uh, the reason for that is is think of it as um, if you search for something, DocuSign searches for your email addresses. So you can't have two email addresses linked up to, you can't have one email address linked up to two accounts. So um, so again, 
keep that in mind. There's always a way that we can um, go around this. So if if there's if you need to rotate out an email, uh, we can always do this as well. So uh, what I would suggest is I would suggest using your KW email address uh, right here for your free account. Uh, go over and then just transition your paid account to a personal email. Hopefully I'm not losing you guys to a personal email to free up that uh, that email account that you want that you can stick to your free version. If uh, if that went over your head, that's okay. You have me as your tech, uh, your, your your director of tech, and uh, and I can help you along the way. So um, again, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, that's just that simple workaround right there. Uh, but we're gonna want to make sure that there is an available email address, and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll click on send registration email. Now, what this will do is just like I said before, this will send you an email into your account uh, and into the, your preferred email address. And uh, it may not say this exactly, but it should say something like um, uh, activate your account or something like that. So you should have a, a DocuSign with a Keller Williams branded logo and it should just say um, a, a, a activate account or authorize or, or something of that nature around that wording. You'll go ahead and you'll click that. It'll take you to DocuSign.com. You'll fill in your password and then you'll be good to go. So once you fill in your password for DocuSign.com, I want you guys to kind of come back here and just double check that everything is connected. There may be one final piece where you need to go in and um, and just just final have that final authorize. So there may be one final authorize button right here. Um, next to DocuSign just to kind of complete that circle. Now, if you already have your, your free DocuSign and say it just got disconnected or you're working on something and, and, and you just don't know how to, how to get this back, you don't want it to send you that registration email again, uh, what we can do is we can click on connect account. We won't click send registration email, but what we will do is we'll look at this uh, text right down here and it'll say, uh, do not do you have a, an account already a uh, login here and we'll go ahead and we'll click that login button and then we'll click login to DocuSign and it should give us a pop-up window yep here it goes and in this pop-up window we'll just go ahead and complete our, our email and our password I'll hit sign in and you should see it, it's connected. It says DocuSign is now ready and can be used in the opportunities document section. And you also see that, uh, that it moved out of my dig digital signatures and transactions and moved up to my connected apps. So again, this is how you'll have your, your free DocuSign connected. Um, again, if you guys are run into, running into any issues, please reach out to me. Um, I'm more than happy to sit down with you guys and, and, and help you uh, negate any issues that, uh, that may arise. Now, we have our DocuSign connected. And, um, and I know I did that pretty quick. Again, uh, this is going to be recorded for you guys. If you want to uh, pause this along the way, you can. Um, and then catch back up. So we have our DocuSign uh, connected right here. What we can do now is uh, I'm going to go back to the home page just, just to kind of orient ourselves back to that uh, sign in. And when we get to the home page here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our red KW square. Uh, just because it opens up our left hand uh, navigational icons, it opens up those titles so we can read them just a little bit easier instead of having to hover over one at a time to, uh, to read which uh, is which. Now, we're going to be looking for opportunities here. It's going to be uh, the one that looks like two people shaking hands, the so two clasped hands right here. We'll go ahead and give this a click. Hey, Cheryl, how's it going? Glad to see you uh, made it to our Facebook live stream. Um, as we make it over here to our uh, opportunities section, you guys uh, will have our next class, our three simple steps. Again, if this looks unfamiliar to you guys, keep in mind our next class right here is going to be uh, all about your opportunities and your contacts and, and getting set up, okay? 
So, uh, but what we're, we're going to be looking for today is we're just going to be jumping into an opportunity. So we'll go into our opportunity section. We'll look for an opportunity right here and then we'll click on the title. And for those of you who know where I'm kind of heading here, we're going to be making our way to our, uh, our document section inside our specific opportunity. So each opportunity, each individual opportunity has their very own section that looks like this. So we're in details. We're going to navigate our way over to uh, documents right here. We're going to give this a click. And inside our documents section, you'll have, uh, you'll have a button up top here. Now I've already entered this, um, entered inside of this uh, button here, but if you haven't before, chances are it will be a dark gray button and it will say start a transaction. Once you click on that and sign into your uh, DocuSign, it'll turn white and it'll say go to transaction. So again, uh, that button may look a little bit different, but it just, uh, it just inverts. Okay. So, uh, so keep that in mind. If you do not see this button right here, this is the number one indicator that your DocuSign is not effectively connected to your command uh, account. Okay, so uh, so right right there's a red flag. If you do not see this button right here, start a transaction in dark gray or go to transaction in white, you have not set up your DocuSign account yet. But if you have, you will see these buttons here. And um, again, a brief overview on this section where we're at right now, just to kind of give you a little backstory. This is where you go to submit all of your documents uh, to your principal reviewing broker to be, uh, to, re to be reviewed and approved by your market center. So again, this is where you're gonna be entering all your different documents. Now what DocuSign does is DocuSign kind of gives you a kind of gives you a draft area where you're able to pull documents from different uh, websites and your computer and you're able to put them in this workspace and you're able to uh, to write them out. You're able to, to fill in your document and you're also able to send that out to your clients via email uh, to get signatures. Um, so it's a really cool concept. Again, um, think of it just like how you go in with a with a with a, a contract and you both of you are signing on the dotted line. This is exactly the same concept, only a uh, digital. OK, um, it should come in, in really handy. If you guys are already paying for DocuSign, um, this should save money on your pocketbook. Uh, I don't see a reason why um, you would still be paying for DocuSign at this point. So right here, we'll go ahead and we'll click on go to transaction. And in this go to transaction area right here, you see that it, it's going to take me to to rooms.docusign.com. And again, it opens up a different tab, a new tab for us. And we're just going to go ahead and sign in right here. We'll go ahead and sign in right here. And um, again, it's going to take that that email and password that you just connected, that you just set up through that uh, that settings section uh, that we were, we were just at previously. So um, when we get in here and we sign in, we sign in a username and password. It, it is a new tab, so I still have my um, I still have my command tab up. You'll get this room right here and it's going to be called DocuSign Rooms. And you'll see that up here with the title DocuSign Rooms. You'll also be greeted with a KW logo as well. So this just kind of gives you an indication that we are in the correct uh, location here. Much like how Dotloop used to have that KW uh, logo as well, just to kind of let you know if you are in the paid version or if you are in the KW version. Uh, same, same thing here. So here's our KW, Keller Williams DocuSign, our free DocuSign right here. And if I go back to my, um, my opportunity, again, that's where this button takes me. So this button takes me to this DocuSign room. This, docu, this DocuSign room is labeled 123 Main Street. 
I want you guys to know that 123 Main Street is the same exact title that I labeled for this one opportunity right here. So I want you guys to know that that these are actually paired and connected uh, towards one each other, one another, and um, they will be able to send documents to each other uh, back and forth, or uh, uh, or at least draw into your document section inside of Command. So um, what we have here is our blank canvas, our blank spot right here. There's gonna be a lot going on. You're gonna have uh, different tabs over here on the left-hand side. Uh, but what I kind of want us to focus on is this small little section right here on the right-hand side. On this right-hand side, you'll have uh, add and actions. These are the only two blue buttons on the right-hand side right here. We're gonna click on add right here. And when you click on add, you're actually gonna get a drop down that gives you a number, I think six different options uh, to choose between. Um, basically it's asking, where do you want me to grab this document from? Do you want me to grab this document from your computer? Do you want me to pull it from your Google Drive? Do you want me to pull it from your zip forms? And so on. So here you have a number of different options. So I'm just gonna grab a couple different documents from a couple different sections here. Uh, I'll go to my my computer first and inside here I'm just going to uh, let's see here let me go to documents and this is just a this is just a text code that I that I've been working on right here um, just basically some scrap uh, a scrap document but as it gets loaded in right here, it becomes uh, a square with a placeholder. So this is my one document that I've uploaded right here. Now I can click on this. I can go ahead and give this a click and I can preview what this looks like. So this is what my document looks like. I can X, I can, uh, X out of it on the upper right hand corner. But if I do not give it a click, if I hover over top of the document, you should see this circle that appears in the upper left hand corner right here. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Let me go ahead and let me full screen see if you guys can see a little bit better. Um, you guys will have this circle if you hover over your document. And if we give this circle a click right here, you guys will have a new toolbar that will pop up right here for us. Let's, uh, let's check it out. So we'll give this a click. And you should see that new toolbar pop up right here. What we're going to be looking for is the thing that looks like a, like a pen. And it will say create envelope. And we'll go ahead and give this a click. And when we create this envelope right here. I kind of want you to treat this kind of like, um, you know, I use, I use the reference kind of like, um, you know, sitting down and, and si signing on the dotted line, right? But digitally, um, an envelope, when they talk about envelope, I want you to treat that like a, getting a physical piece of mail in your mailbox. Only they're talking about folding up your digital documents into an envelope and sending that out via email to your clients. Okay. So, uh, so that's what they mean by envelope. So here in this envelope, you can add two, three, six, eight documents to be sent out uh, in one email to be signed, okay? So let's look at this. Um, at the very beginning here, it'll say envelope name. Now, I would use this as a reference of, of what the documents or who it is that I'm gonna be sending. Uh, give me context of, of what this envelope, what's inside of this envelope, okay? So let me go ahead and so I'm just going to write AS, ASD code doc for sample. So I'm going to know exactly what that means. Uh, the moment my eyes uh, view it and um, and I'm going to know that this envelope holds just my agent services uh, uh, code for one of my one of my pages here um, again. If I want to add more documents, I can do that here. I can click on room docs. Seeing as how I did only add one 
uh, one document. I won't really have too much more of a selection to choose, um, but that's how you'll add more documents from that one room right there. We'll scroll down right here. Uh, we will cover templates uh, in a later date, but you also are going to be able to uh, choose a template right here. Um, and by what I mean by later date uh, in this video here, in this training, I will cover uh, templates uh, more for you guys. OK, so when you leave here today, you should be well equipped to be able to create some uh, some good templates to help you help help ease that uh, that time. So we'll use this one ASD uh, chat document right here, right? And we're going to scroll down. We're going to next, we're going to choose a, a recipient to, to receive this envelope here. Now here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click add recipient. I'm going to have two options. Uh, we can either add a room recipient. And again, I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Um, and here you'll have a number of different room recipients. Or I can go ahead and I can add an email address. Now, guys, go ahead and go ahead and get in the habit of adding the email address and the name just just for now until you get in the habit of adding those additionals to your to your DocuSign room. So um, so again, name and email is probably going to be a little bit easier for you just because it's going to be front of mind or you're going to have that information uh, front of center. Now. If you don't, here's a great example of of showing you how all of these programs and platforms work hand in hand. Um, because if I don't know my uh, client's name or email, chances are I'll probably know their name. Maybe I don't know how to spell their last name uh, right off bat, right? What I can do is I'm going to toggle back over to my command system, right? So here's, here's my uh, DocuSign. Here's my uh, command. All I have to do is go ahead and, and hover over one of these names right here. My uh, contact that's associated with this opportunity. And you should have a phone number and an email associated. Now, again, this is just a sample. So uh, I did not do a good job entering my phone number and email on these samples right here. However, um, that's how quick you can you can grab that uh, that information. You can right click copy and you can put put it over here. And then you can just go ahead and paste it. So again, really, really easy to be able to navigate and use both of the tools uh, hand in hand. So uh, for the time being, let me just go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to X off of this one and I'm just going to use a couple room recipients or participants, uh, some room participants. Um, let's go ahead and I'm just going to use a couple. I'm going to use myself for one. So now I don't have to add my information. So you you should be branded to your uh, to your room, uh, seeing as how you signed up for this free DocuSign account. Um, but there's going to be a couple other people that are inside your room as well. So your principal reviewing broker should be a part of your uh, your DocuSign rooms as well as your MCA. And uh, this is just uh, for compliance, right? So. Uh, so think about one for your documents, one for your commissions. Uh, uh, again, your MCA and, and your your principal reviewing broker are both going to be also added in here um, for uh, for for your uh, for your compliance. Now, we can send this off to one person, two people, five people, ten people, um, and we could also send this to ourselves to get a copy. Now. In this one section right here, I'll just use uh, this in, instead of muddying up the uh, the page here. I'm going to use one section. Um, I'm going to use myself as an example. If you're sending this out to a client, like this is your client, right? Uh, you have a number of different options you can choose. Uh, does this client need to sign this document? Does this client only need to view this document? Um, are you going to just send a copy to somebody? Um, and so on. So here you're going to have a, no, uh, a number of options uh, depending on what you want to do with this uh, document here. So uh, for example, I can uh, say that my client needs to sign this and I can go ahead and I can add myself um, to just receive a copy. So this one needs to sign here. I can just receive a copy and this is how it would it would view. It'd be sent to both of us. I don't need to do anything, but my client still needs to sign it. 
Um, another thing too is I'm gonna actually put this. Um, I'm gonna say two people need to sign right here. Okay. Um, say you're sending this to a, a couple different people, or uh, you're just sending a document out where uh, multiple people need to uh, sign or have signatures or date. Um, what we can do here is when we scroll down the very bottom, we'll get to the uh, the signatures and stuff uh, on the next page right up here. Uh, but we have one final section uh, down below and this is your message to, to all your of your recipients and your message is is basically uh it's your email right so your email subject line is going to be is going to automatically say please dog you sign unless you uh decide to change it to something else um so i can change this to please sign agreements and then um, inside this email message, I can kind of give instructions, step-by-step -step instructions, um, what to kind of expect and look for forward to when you are, are signing this DocuSign document, um, and then, um, and, and so on. Now, you don't need to have an email message in here. This is completely optional. Um, this is at your discretion, right? DocuSign is also going to send an email uh, it, there's going to be a, a box inside of this email, much like what I showed you before, uh, something similar to this. It'll say, please DocuSign this document and, and so on. So this is this is similar to what your client is going to see right here. Um, again, um, so no need to add that email message if you don't want to. Or you can say, click the big yellow button if you, you know, to, to get started on signing your documents. You know, really anything that you that you want. I'm going to leave it blank for, for now. Um, and what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to click on this yellow next button up top here. And when we get into this next page here, um, something to take a look at is this is going to be your editable page, right? So they kind of do this a little backwards. Um, they have you configure the email first and then they have you work on the document. So, um, so again, for example, um, we'll have this load up right here. Give me just a second. Let me hit this refresh refresh button. Oh! All right. Well, while we're waiting, you guys, we got about a week left uh, for Halloween. Tell me, what uh, what do you guys plan to dress up for Halloween? Anything spooky? Uh, any any fun events you guys have uh, planned or lined up? Let me know. Shoot shoot some some stuff in the comments. Uh, let me have some uh, great ideas. Let me steal your ideas there. So as we see right here, uh, I just refreshed the page and it, and it took me to that that next uh, button. And here is going to be your document right here. Now again, I chose I chose a code for my document. Uh, keep in mind that yours is actually going to have real words with uh, with lines and and signature sections and things like that. Um, at this point right here, this is going to be your filled out completed document, and now we're just going to need to get initials and dates and signatures and things like that on top of our document to be. Uh, to be able to be sent out uh, to your principal reviewing broker to be approved. So how we look at this right here is we kind of have three sections. Um, your left hand section right here, these are going to be your editable tools. You're going to be able to drag this on top of your material and and configure them. Okay. So if you want to uh, place a signature somewhere if you need to ask for a signature you can just drag that and drop it somewhere okay this middle section right here is of course your document so this is the material that you're going to be applying these uh, pieces of information to okay and last but not least on the right hand side uh, depending on what uh, options you're on signature or name uh, these will be different options for you so if you need to if you need a, a, a date stamped and you use military time you, sh you should be able to format that over here and and so on things things like that so um, as we see tools for me for that one 
uh, that one option. Okay. So if I click off of it, it off right. Kind of text. So what I can do is I can click on this to and I can it's that uh wait till my cursor hits that slanted angled drag my um my object either larger or smaller now it, it will uh, uh, length size my up right signature now, let me go ahead and um, tell you, you know, tell you the different options that we have here. Um, so now uh, everything is in yellow. And um, the, so is the signature on this document. Everything in yellow is corresponding to this client right up here. So if this was Morgan right here, or if this was Jet, um, it would correspond to the color. So I put my name in as, as, as two different people. I should have used a different name. Um, but if I click this drop down right here, you'll see that I'll actually have a different color. So this would represent uh, the different uh, places that one client would need to sign and where the other person would need to sign as well. So here you'd see the difference. So now Jet needs to sign and now Morgan needs to sign, right? So now both of us need to sign so we have this right here we have these different options keep in mind once you actually place something on your on your document right here you can still change it to the different person uh, so if I click on this uh, this material right here we'll travel to the right hand side and we'll we'll see our name it says recipient we'll click on this right here and we can switch this back to to yellow and we can switch this one to blue right here so um, so here's how you're gonna be able to actually move and, and maneuver your different signatures and who's signing what and so on all right how's everybody doing you holding up all right all right we're gonna continue on a little bit more um, again if you guys have any questions um, shout them out in the comments um, I'm here alone. There's one thing that uh, that this uh, this live stream does not have just yet, and that's going to be video conferencing. So um, we are getting updates every single day. So um, so it's good to see where we're kind of at. Uh, we should be able to, to take a live video in a guest here shortly. So uh, super super fun stuff here on our kwtechhelp.com uh, as well as our uh, Facebook uh, Facebook profile. So. We have our signatures right here. Let's move a couple more over. I'm going to move back to the standard yellow because that's, I think all of them are going to start off yellow. So that's, that's just the one that you're going to see the most. Um, I'm going to drag an initial over right here. Um, I'm going to drag a date signed over right here. Uh, I'm going to drag a name over right here. I'm going to drag a text. Oh, I'm running out of room. I'm going to drag a text. I'm going to drag a drop down and I think I'll be good. that will be good for right now. Um, we'll, we'll drag a te text box over here too. Okay. So we have a number of different options that we can, we can start to mess around with now. Right? So, um, so let's try and see what we can kind of do to maximize the, uh, the different options and the tools that, that are available to us. So first and foremost, everything that's colored right here. If you send this out uh, to your clients, everything that is colored is required to be filled out, which means I cannot skip any one of these sections right here. Um, otherwise, the document is not going to be completed. Now, if there's going to be some sections where it's going to be optional, like uh, do you want to give an optional, an optional phone number? What we can do is we can click on the object. So any object you want, we can click on the object and on the right hand side right here, right below the recipient, 
you'll have a checkbox that that says if it's re a required field or if it's optional so if i uncheck the required field you see it kind of becomes grayed out a little bit and in this gray out uh this this allows the uh, the signer to be able to skip this option if they so choose so again here's the way that you can actually go from required and optional okay just like that so um so very important to note another thing to uh to keep in mind is is certain objects like a select like a drop down select right here if i give this a click it doesn't quite show us what uh what makes up this field right here so uh if i give it a double click though let's see right here i might have to add something in here first so let's go um let's go to right down here on the right hand side you see it says our drop down we're gonna go to add option and here you'll have default options you'll have a number of different options that we can choose and as you see it says select right here that's our select uh, but let's go ahead and let's start to add uh, add some options here so um, I'm just gonna add one two and then three that should be good And so now we'll have uh, a number of different uh, options to choose. And so there we go. And so when I give this a double click right here, it should show you or it should open up and reflect what that's going to look like for the uh, for the recipient. So we can click off of that. We'll go ahead again. One, two, double click. It should open up to a kind of a bigger box, kind of like a transparent box. And then you'll be able to select your different options so you can actually see what it see what it looks like okay what next uh let's go ahead and this checkbox right here again um you have the option uh to uh just make sure that it's uh bolded and uh able to uh, be viewed right here uh they're going to be able to uh, check that on or off Uh, there's a couple other uh, options here uh, attachments notes and things like that um, again um, I think for the most part if you're I mean really if you're using you know email you should be you should be used to uh, to attachment right here we'll go ahead and give this a click and there should be a, an attachment right here so um, let's go ahead and I'll leave this down down below right here. I'm going to I'm going to keep this how it is. Um, at first, I was going to I was going to make some non required, but I'm going to leave all this required right here. And and then we're going to see what this uh, what this looks like. So again, your your document's going to be a little bit prettier than mine. Um, if Let's see here. Let me just um, let me move some down to where it would kind of reflect more of a uh, more of a document section right here. So move this right here. There you go. I don't know. There we go. Sure, why not? There we go. So I just move these around. Um, again, we're just just having fun with it, right? Um, so we have all this right here. What I can do. Uh, before I send it out because again, this is gonna send to, to both of these people right here um, I can uh, I can preview what this is gonna look like for the receiving end right here So I can click a recipient preview and so again when we go back here and um, And your client gets this email that says uh, please DocuSign um, When they click on the the DocuSign now button right here it's going to take them to what looks like this page right here. So here, all they have to do is they have to hit the start button and it's going to follow them through uh, the sections that they need to fill out. So I'll hit start right here. Hit choose and then I'll click this, this again and then it'll bring me down to the, to the next location and then it'll just keep bringing me down. And last but not least and then I can attach a file right here if I need to 
and yeah so so pretty uh pretty impressive so I'll, I'll send this out um and then we'll go ahead and we'll sign this and then we'll see what it looks like on the on the on the agent's side now there is one other person here there's that second client uh that second client only has that one initial right here somewhere um so let's go ahead and click on the second client and as you see right here it's only gonna take me through that that section that is solely mine so um again it's kind of kind of nice to be able to, to have that uh difference between the two so again uh second second signer we'll hit next right here and then it'll take me straight to that one sign section then we'll have that and that's what that kind of looks like you have the uh, the desktop mobile and and tablet view so again they're going to be able to view this uh, document on their mobile phone as well um, and be able to sign it from there too so i'm going to go ahead and hit send right here um and i'm going to hit sign later now since i was signed into my own docusign since i sent it to myself essentially uh, it asked me if i wanted to just sign it right then and there uh, but i just kind of want it i just kind of want to see what it looks like from from the other point of view so i'm going to go up here i'm going to go to my uh my inbox and what we should have here is we should have a uh email there you go as you see right here it says please sign agreement oh that's the that's the docusign uh title that i changed and then as i click this right here as you see it it says morgan heitzma sent you a document to review and sign please uh review the document now again this is where that uh that uh conversation if you want to add that additional message that's where uh this would be but since i didn't add that we're just going to go ahead and click on review document all right and as you see right here uh it looks exactly like that that preview page that i showed you before uh, this is what it's going to look like uh, when your clients are signing these documents right here they'll just hit continue they'll select one of these They'll hit start and it'll just take them down the line right here. Oops, there we go. And here we go. And here we can go ahead and upload that file. So that upload attachment, um, you know, wasn't really available unless it was for the, for the, the signer side. And then again, they I can upload that attachment as well. There we go. And then we can hit finish up here and all of a sudden your DocuSign is signed. So that's how you would go about assigning and, and initialing and, and, and all of that uh, with your DocuSign. Now, once everything is all signed and, and done for you, um, what we can do is we can come back here to our command, uh, our, our command DocuSign, uh, sorry, our command opportunity section. And if we go back into DocuSign right here in our go to transaction button. You will see uh, you'll have two you have two documents now you'll have one that's that standard document before you sent it out and then you'll also have a new document which is your sign seal delivered document. Um, and it should have a green uh, either a green circle or a green check right next to it should should have an indicator to to let you know that uh that it is the signed sealed confirmed document right here as you see right here we have that um now what's cool about this section right here is uh when somebody signs your document now, as you see, I still need that part two. I still need that second signature. So let's just go ahead and complete that, uh, complete that over here in my inbox. Oh, there we go. 
please sign agreement right here we'll click on this again because that's that part two because i sent myself as an example for for both sides i'll review this document there should only be one signature I'll hit continue and then start and then I'll skip over everyone else's see do you see that and then all we'll have to do is hit sign right here and then finish now you can always reorder who goes first who goes second um, when you are configuring um, when you're configuring the uh, the layout out so uh, so you always have that option uh, as well too so um, when it says you're done signing right here you also have the option to download this document or print it up so so after your sign after both signatures are on uh, they can also print this as well we'll hit continue and when we get to this part right here, um, I'm going to jump back over to command here and I'm just going to exit out some of these, uh, some of these windows. When we get back here, if I click on go to transaction, now that I've, now that both, both sides have signed this deal, this document, you should have that green indicator that I was uh, mentioning right here. Now, there's two parties that signed this, and as well as uh, that up, update, updated document that I had too. So that was my um, sample uh, document that I uploaded. And as you have right here, you have this ASD uh, uh, site chat right here. So you have this signed. Uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and, uh, what, I'm actually going to delete the rest of these. And I'm really only going to focus on these green signatures right here. The reason for that is uh, when we come back in here into our commands, when we start to upload these signed, sealed, uh, beautiful documents, uh, we can click add a file right here. And there's going to be a DocuSign uh, button that we can click where it'll show us all the different uh, documents inside of here. Now, if you don't get in the habit of clearing out the documents that uh, that are either unfinished or not signed, you'll start to have this long list of all the documents that are inside that one opportunity room. So once you get done with the document that you need and it's signed, sealed, done, um, try to clear it out or at least archive it, right? Um, and so you have the, these beautiful signed documents right here. I'll click ASD chat site right here, the signed one, and then I'll hit a sign right here. So in full retrospect, um, how this should look is if you go into here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to be clicking add, pulling files into uh, blank files into your DocuSign rooms. When you, when you click on them, you're actually able to fill out the document right here. So for those of you who are pulling forms through zip forms, you can pull a blank form through zip forms into your DocuSign room, click on it, right? We'll click on it. It'll pop open and, and you can actually fill out your zip form forms inside of your DocuSign room. So you don't have to travel anywhere. You can just pull forms in, fill them out, send them out. And then when they're all, when they come back all nice and pretty, we'll come here to our document section right here and we will uh, add file and we'll import them for our principal reviewing broker. Now, any questions? Do you guys have any questions at all? Please, please tell me in the comments below. Um, was this helpful? Uh, did you did you learn a lot? There's going to be a couple sections that we did not um, cover today, and that's going to be templates. We didn't cover templates or our details section right here. Um, but we do have something else. We have study hall for you guys. And every Friday at kwtechhelp.com. Um, again, let's type that in kwtechhelp.com. We have uh, we have on our website uh, Friday study halls, and again, that's that's at two o'clock. Uh, it's an open hour where we come in with a blank notepad and a pen, and you guys tell us what to teach for the hour. So again, every Friday, 
Um, if you go ahead and go to kwtechhelp.com, click on join us live right here. You're going to have three options.